Well, the, the fundamental insight that we, we took is that um, there's a couple of different approaches to bringing all this information together. Um, and many of these approaches have failed and have now kind of become the, you know, the even the laughing stock of, uh, of, the, of the IT monitoring world. So for example, single pane of glass, uh, sometimes also uh, called, uh, you know, pane of single glass, uh, you know, that kind of idea of, well, just, well, in fact, we have all those tools and we just kind of slap a, a pane of glass on that and we, we make lots of dashboards with lots of widgets. That simply does not scale and means that you have to manually figure out how to pull that data together into dashboards and, you know, in dynamic situations that, that absolutely does not work. Another solution has been uh, to and, and, and still many vendors are trying to push this. It's kind of still kind of the main, the main one if you look at the, 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 the scene at large, or community of IT monitoring at large, is kind of what we call the big database in the sky approach. You say, well, you know, we're uh, Dynatrace, we're New Relic, we're, you know, Datadog. You know, we can give you complete end-to-end -end coverage of your entire IT landscape but all you need to do is bring all your data to us. And then of course, you know, we can do it. And, you know, that's been tried since, you know, the, we know that that has happened, been happening even with IBM in the nineties and so on and HP and all of those. And that's just never gonna happen. All the data is never all going to end up in one place. It's just not gonna happen. Uh, another solution has been, you know, let's not consider all the data but just let's consider only the events. So we bring only the events, which are kind of, uh, which have, you know, the kind of the most important bits of the data and we bring all that together. So, but that's also not really a good approach because if you get an event that says, well, the disk is 80% full, you know, that, that, that tells you very little, you know, whether, you know, should I now take action or not? You know, is that, you know, you, what you want to see is like, did it rise to the 80% in five minutes or was it there was it that 97 percent for uh the last five months you know that that makes a world of difference so you need to have more insight into the data and also when you're looking at a whole bunch of events it becomes very hard to correlate them and then there's all kinds of approaches of well let's use natural language processing to bunch them together and you know these these approaches really also don't work so our approach is fundamentally different uh, that we actually take uh, the topology, the understanding of how the different components of your IT environment uh, fit together. And we make sure that that is a real-time map of the smallest little components. So think about the process, running in a container, running on a pod, running on a, a virtual machine, running on a hypervisor, running in a, a blade on a rack in a data center somewhere. And all those different abstractions all the way to, well, this process is actually running a database and that is actually then has a logical, it's actually part of a logical application. And so all the way up to the, up to your business where this logical application provides a service that connects to customers, et cetera, and has actually revenue streams connected to it. An understanding of all of that across the entire stack uh, makes it possible for you to know exactly how your environment is configured. Keep that in real time. Make sure that you also track everything over time because it's highly dynamic. And then for each point in that stack, make it possible to know which data about that and about that component, where where that data is coming from.